Hey guys, today I'm going to be using RPG Maker VX. Now, this is um, this tutorial is going to be on how to make your enemies be on the actual map instead of being like random, uh, random, which is random's pretty cool. But I mean, this is just another way of doing it. So, uh, what you're going to want to do is just whatever, just make a. I'm for now. I'm just going to make a small, a pretty small map for just to show you. But I'm just gonna have this. It doesn't have to be this. But go ahead and click new event. Uh, choose your graphic. I'm just gonna leave it at this guy. And to make it harder, um, you might want to make this guy faster so he can kind of catch up to you. If you want to make the game harder. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And make sure this is set as event touch. And to make it look more like an RPG game or something, just click stepping animation, which is legs, or he'll just act like he's walking in place, like most games, a lot of games do, like classic. But okay, just go ahead and click event and uh, make it page three, battle processing. Click battle processing, whatever monster you want, and make sure you click can escape and click OK. And yeah, whatever, if you win, yeah, whatever, you get coins, whatever. But, just go to if escape and click insert, and go to page 2, and right there, set move route, set move route, and then go to move toward player, make sure you click it twice, because, yeah, it will wander off if you only click it like once, so just click, click it twice and click repeat action, that's probably what you want to do, and uh, click OK. And see right there, it worked. And you might, you if this works for you, you can click approach. But I just do custom. And actually, I'm sorry. Uh, move toward player on here. My bad. Two times. Make sure repeat action. Uh, but over here, I'm sorry. Um, you gotta click set move route and click um, step backward. One step backward right here. Just one time. That's don't repeat it. Just click wait for completion. Um, then, here, let me just delete this other one. Click delete, and right there, sorry, it should be one step backward. Um, custom, but if approach works for you, that's fine, but I am just did custom, move toward player is probably a better way. But, that's good, um, apply, and let's just play the game, see, I'll check it out. Should work fine, this is good. Okay, here it is. Uh, new game or whatever. Um, and here you go. This guy's gonna be walking towards me. Oh crap! He's gonna catch me. It may look so easy to escape from this guy, but um, he'll escape from you. I mean, it may look easy to escape from him, but if you put like ten guys on the map, it's not it's not so easy. And I'm just gonna show you how, what the escape looks like. And it should look like that. You back off, holy crap, run away, he's gonna catch me. And uh, pretty much that's it. Nah, it works for any guy, you can keep copying and pasting the event, whatever. And see, he just caught me again. Uh, but okay, uh, that's it. And I guess I'll see you in my next tutorial. My next tutorial might be RPG Maker tutorial, whatever. Um, but please subscribe. Uh, this is JP Tutorials. Um, see you in my next video.